Hey guys, it's Cam with another video. Um, I have some news regarding my internship. Um, as many of you may have heard, the Disney College program ended and was pretty much canceled, I think a week or two ago. Um, and then shortly after that, the professional interns had this email sent to us saying if you want to end your program early that's totally fine we understand the circumstances um so on and so forth <clears throat> and everyone in the horticulture internship continued as normal we kept going to work but we moved our schedule from either a 3 a.m or a 7 a.m to a 5 a.m. which is kind of right in the middle <clears throat> you know some people had to wake up two hours early or uh, were able to sleep in two hours later than normal um, so on and so forth the the parks are looking the well Epcot is looking really nice it's not really as They're not really as focused right now with keeping it as like guest ready as possible. Right now they're actually keeping the watering schedule just higher on the uh, list of demands and to-do lists for individual, for the individuals. And a lot of people were laid off, which was pretty much the... Uh, extra help for the festival which includes BVCC which I'm not actually sure the a hundred percent sure on what the what the abbreviation actually stands for I think it's like Buena Vista construction company and pretty much all of them were laid off mostly because right now they don't need the extra help because there's no guest damage there's no um, right now there's no real reason to worry about what's guest looking, what's looking good for the guests, I mean, and with everything that's going on, they've, pretty much the only people that are working in the parks right now is the horticulture team and the security team. And there's also a whole bunch of people coming in and doing like a deep clean. There's people with pressure washers, pressure washing the um, the garbage cans because, well, I won't fill you in on what exactly it looks like, but just, just imagine what people would throw in there and think, what will it look like in 80 to 100 degree temperatures and relatively high humidity you can probably think of what it would look like but I kind of saw that and after the pressure washer hit it it looked brand new and I'm glad that they've focused on that first because that's kind of one of the dirtiest parts of the park as much as they would probably hate to admit it, the garbage cans are pretty filthy and there are, there's like, well there's like two different garbage cans and with that a lot of the times it is those two garbage cans which is recycling and garbage. Um, a lot of times they're together or within a close vicinity of each other and pretty much I think it's like a hundred paces between each one so you can probably imagine if you were to walk the entirety of Epcot with shortcuts and like all the different cutoffs and like sections that are not in a straight circle or straight line you can probably imagine how many garbage cans and recycling bins there are and 
probably as of now they've probably cleaned all of them and they've probably done a second go with the pressure washer the first one probably was just to like clean off any gunk and then the second one would probably be to just do it like just have like sanitizer that's highly concentrated and soap just to like knock anything that's gross off of it then again I'm sure that they're doing like a few steps in a lot of this cleaning there's probably like probably the next step will probably be that they'll like wipe clean all of the surfaces that they can um, probably deep cleans of restaurants restrooms well they are doing that of the restrooms the bathrooms are or at least they were the last I saw that they were like they had caution tape just to stop people from going in and making a mess of the freshly cleaned bathroom and now now comes the kind of unfortunate part they roughly a week ago today which is Wednesday they they told all th all of the interns which comically was only four of us because two went home a little early because they weren't feeling a hundred percent one had a bad back the other was just having a little bit of a cold and well they called us had a meeting with us and they were pretty much saying unfortunately due to the circumstances we have to lay you off and we're giving you rehire status which I think pretty much means that if I apply to anything they'll probably they'll pretty much see that I completed a program even though I technically didn't because another part of my program was actually giving tours and I believe only two of the interns out of the six of us gave a tour so in a way two of us fully completed it and the other four of us kind of completed it anyways I have no hard feelings about it it makes sense due to the circumstances and I'm sure that there's a good reason that they had to do such a like big layoff for this situation it seems like they have everything in control and by the time that everyone well, by the time everything clears up, the guests are able to go back in, I'm sure everything will look as good, if not better, than it did when the parks had to unfortunately close due to these circumstances, and in a way that's, that's the end of my horticulture intern adventure, at least until I applied to do something else or I end up going to some other area of Disney who knows I can't really know for sure for certain they don't really have many jobs posted yet so who knows what will come of the future and I'm hopefully going to keep making more videos as this whole thing happens and I'll update you on anything that I end up doing in the future but enjoy some of these videos that I'm being able to make as I'm stuck in quarantine with not much else to do other than like reading books and watching Hulu or Netflix or YouTube videos but as you'll probably see, I have a video that I did in the kitchen and a video that I did outside. So I'm trying all sorts of different kind of sets, as you may call it, in video making. But I kind of feel more at ease now because I'm not as stressed out about trying to make videos as well as going to work and... Anyways, I'm just 
kind of starting to blab on and I'm not wanting to look, make this a 15 minute long video just me talking about random things that come to my mind because nobody's really interested in that and I try to keep as close to the subject at hand as possible. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. If you have any ideas on stuff you want me to make, comment down below. Or if you know me in person, you can reach out to me and I'll try to figure out how I can do that. Oh, car horn. Or car walking. See you in the next one.